WTFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. I've decided to change something this morning because I've had several people ask about it, and that is the difference between the futures and the options markets. You can see back here 10 years ago, we were 2013, you know, the percentage of futures were options were relatively close together. And as you can see now, this was two years ago, folks, 2022. All I did was extend it out to what this uh, is now. It's 135 now in the options and it's still around around 50 in the thing that just tells you these options have just gone absolutely crazy a lot of that are the zero expiration options that only uh, work for one day but that's uh, you know that's part of this and so we'll see it today's guest will be Stan Harley uh, by the way folks we start the summer solstice today it's a little bit early but it starts on the 20th and uh, we got the, f the full moon coming up here. I believe it's a full moon. I'm pretty sure it is. I have to double check. But today I was driving across the desert this morning when the sun was coming up. And when the sun comes up in the desert, folks, you can look directly at it because of all the, the fog and stuff that's out there, sand, whatever it is. It just keeps it as a bright bulb, like a light bulb. And then as it starts to rise in the sky, it's it's really spectacular to see that thing. It's just uh, really uh, totally amazing. Also, we lost one of the greatest baseball players who ever lived. Willie Mays passed away yesterday at the age of 93. I was fortunate enough to meet him at a Jersey Boy concert in San Francisco about 10 years ago with Sarah. And I was so excited when I sat down in the seat that I just kept talking about him. And when we got done, she said, I want to go meet this guy. So we walked out, and he was still standing there talking to somebody. I waited till he was done, and I introduced uh, – and she said, gosh, she said, that is one of the most cordial people I've ever met. You'd never know he was a star. I said, no, he wasn't a star. I said, he was out in the galaxy. There was only one other player that even came close to him, and that was Babe Ruth. Anyway, we're going to have some fun today looking at stuff. we got some things happening. The first time we've had a cell signal – in the S&P and also in the NASDAQ today. I'll bring that to you. Of course, short term, of course. Another buying opportunity preceded it, I imagine. But anyway, that's what we're paying attention to on some of these things that we're looking at today. Uh, tomorrow's guest will be Norm Winsky, uh, coming at the right time with all the Astro stuff that's coming. So stay with us, and we'll be right back.